on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. Relates to the standards that they set for them and that they were struggling and, and all of this other type of stuff. And I'm like, well, what are you even doing there? And they was like, oh, I'm just taking advantage of the system, basically. As long, long, long story short, they ain't have no other option, so they decided to take advantage of the system, and that's the way they rocking. And I don't believe that women listen. If you can hack it off of a basic standard that's set for men, the barrier to entry, cool, do your thing. But I don't, I don't like the idea that women advocate for equal, but then they only advocate equal when it makes sense for them. If you're going to want it equal, you're going to have to have it equal on both sides. And I don't think that women are willing to go through the things that men have to go through as far as the barriers to entry in order to really qualify for the things that they get to. Leadership, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think that women is built like we are at all. Not even a little bit. Right, but Kay, um, in terms of the representation matters, I wasn't, I wasn't coming from it as like in terms of... um you know, kids looking up to it. What I was talking about was more so like this country of where we all live has people that look different. Yet there's only people that look one way that are making the laws for no, I agree with the that. rest of the people. I agree they, with they don't under even understand the experiences that some other people look like. So I'm saying having a representative from that community in the room when we're making decisions about the country could be beneficial when someone I, actually knows how much a, cup, a, a a gallon of milk costs. You know what I'm saying? Like that's I, what I, mean. I get that, Kayla, and I agree with that. I agree. But the thing is, if you're getting to the position of Supreme Court justice, you probably run in certain circles. You know what I'm saying? Um, so if you're this getting there, if you're doing these things, if you've been in all these expensive schools, if you've been in these circles, you're doing what you need to do to stay there, which includes pandering, which includes going along with whatever you need to go along with, whether you're black, white, whoever, you're yeah. doing those things. So, I mean, because <laughs> there's- It's a part well, of the job. It's a part of the job and that's how you stay in office. These things have a lot of corruption and just, you know, things that people do to stay there. So, and to get there and it, a lot of people aren't just general, just race loyal, you know, oh, I'm black. So I'm going to do this because I'm black. I mean, we saw that. W well, so yeah, I know I, you're going, yeah. I, I'm yeah. not trying to get too deep into it, but yeah, like I wouldn't just assume that any black person in these high positions uh, within the U S government it's automatically going to be doing things to benefit black people. They're going to do what they need to do for their own political interests. Anton, what are your thoughts about it? <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, JR. Uh, the overwhelming majority of, of leadership positions in the United States of America, I don't think women should be in them at all. I don't believe in women being in the military. I don't believe in women uh, taking leadership positions, uh, especially as far as running an entire country. Um, I, I, I don't I don't look at it based off a of race. I mean, I think that the rest of the panel has already um, mined the whole token tokenization thing. I think Courtney Courtney said it probably best as far as laying that out identity politics i don't agree with it whatsoever i don't believe that women in general should take up leadership positions especially as far as running the country at all i think inherently we don't even respect women that run their households over the men that they with. like we we don't why would i why would i want a woman being in a position of power and elite as a leader of the free world. And I don't even respect a woman that runs her household over the man that she's with. And so I don't believe that women um, should be in those positions of power at all. I think that those are spots that should be reserved for men. And um, it is what it is. So when you you say this a lot, this um, you don't think women should be in the military. So when you say that, you're talking about like out there fighting, right? Because the military is not just people who fight. There are nurses, doctors, engineers. There are people that do 
everything that like happens regularly out in the world in the military. So you, I'm assuming you mean like out there doing, you know, fighter jets and black, you know, black ops and stuff like that. Right. Now, I think what he's saying is that even for that to happen, what you said is exactly right. But you understand that they got to create two different standards for the woman to even stay in. Um, I, and I'd have been through it that I didn't had. It's a totally different physical fitness standard. So now, even to, be, you, even to be like a, just a nurse, oh, let me I was answering the question now. Hold up. Okay. Um, now, just think about this. If you want to fight for equality, right? Which I hear a lot of women say they want equality. It's virtually impossible for you to have equality, especially in the military, because they have to create a separate standard just for you to make it in. So to that, to his point with that, I totally agree. But that's still not answering my question. So the answer to your question is no, women shouldn't be in the military. In any capacity. That's correct. Interesting. Because you're going to have to make a different standard for them. It's, it's no uniform standard. It's it, a, is that not how sports I think, are? I mean, in at the at the Olympics, do the girls not run with the girls and the boys run with the boys? I don't know. That's different. That's different. What you're saying is that you're not talking about two different leagues. You're talking about one military. Right. And in, in that one military, you got two different standards because if they had the same standard, probably 1% of the women that's in the military now will probably even make it. Right, but I'm saying okay. the standard the standard to be a nurse in the military is different yeah, than black ops. Yeah, I think you know, the standard okay. is the standard is well, a standard. I don't know. I'm asking. I, that's why I gave you physical fitness standards. It's a standard. But okay. because you, women make the standard, they have to create a whole new standard just for women alone. Okay. Do you have to go through a physical fitness test to be a nurse in the military? Yes, everybody has to go through basic okay. training. Okay. And the reason I why I know like this, that. and I haven't been in the military like Mr. Logic, is, mm -hmm. is because I coach women today. Some of them are overseas right now, and they was telling me how they almost couldn't even make it as it relates to the standards that they set for them, and that they were struggling and, and all of this other type of stuff. And I'm like, well, what are you even doing there? And they was like, oh, I'm just taking advantage of the system, basically. As long, long, long story short, they ain't have no other option, so they decided to take advantage of the system, and that's the way they're rocking. And I don't believe that women listen. If you can hack it off of a basic standard that's set for men, the barrier to entry, cool, do your thing. But I don't, I don't like the idea that women advocate for equal, but then they only advocate equal when it makes sense for them. If you're going to want it equal, you're going to have to have it equal on both sides. And I don't think that women are willing to go through the things that men have to go through as far as the barriers to entry in order to really qualify for the things that they get to leadership. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't think that women is built like we are. At all. Not even a little bit. 